Hey guys, it's the Thomas and Cars fan here, and welcome back to another video and another review. My last video was, of course, me reviewing the Fast Talking Lightning McQueen. Yeah, all these reviews are going to take place in my kitchen, on the floor. Well, maybe. I'll maybe change my setting up, depending on what I review. But anyway... This review is going to be a little bit shorter than the Thomas and McQueen review because this is just one um, item and it does one thing. And you guys may be saying, oh, look, it's classic Thomas. And yes, you are right. This is the Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Music Lullaby Box. Or that's what I call it. I don't know the official name of it. But yeah, I got this on eBay after I bought the Lightning McQueen from eBay. I just scrolled through and saw this for $40. And I was like, hey, that's vintage. It's classic Thomas. So I was like, might as well get it. And I did. And I love it so much. So let me guys, let me show you guys what it looks like. So down there is this. Can you focus for me, camera? Focus. It doesn't want to focus. Anyway, it says Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends in the old style cloud. It has like little music notes at the bottom. It is a little bit torn right there, but it's old. Then it has a picture of Thomas, Percy, and James. They're very small. Has the same picture over there. And this side right here is supposed to be like an old TV. It's supposed to be like an older style TV. These are supposed to be the buttons. That's supposed to be like the little air vent. And this is basically supposed to be a TV screen. Now, this is not the only screen that shows. I just have it on this part because this is my favorite part. But I will show you guys what it does in a second. Turn it on the back. It's nothing on the back. It's a little bit plain. I really wish it was something on the back. But this thing is not heavy at all. You basically hold it like that. And... It says, manufactured in China, under license to Nylant Corp, Rockford, Illinois, USA, at Britt Alcroft Thomas Limited, 9, 8, 1989. So this thing was released around 1989. This is vintage, guys. Like, this is old. This is rare. I was lucky to even get my hands on it. Anyway. Yeah. Let me guys let me show you guys what it does. You basically just wind it wind it up. Hard to wind it up with one hand. And you guys hear it, it's playing the classic Thomas theme, just in a lullaby version. This thing is beautiful, guys. Like, look at that classic picture. There's James. There's Gordon on the um, water wheel bridge. And you guys do see that thing turning. You can see the water, James and Gordon still. Then Thomas comes in. That, Thomas is just, ooh, I love Thomas so much. There's Thomas puffing on his branch line with Annie and Clarabelle in the back. There's Harold in, up there. Then you see Percy in the bottom. Then you see Sir Topham Hat back there on the station. And there it is, it ran out of winding. But you guys do get it. Yeah, this is a vintage Thomas the Tank 
Lullaby Music Box. I don't know the official name, but technically that's what it is. And it's vintage, it's rare, it's hard to find. I was lucky to come across it. But yeah, you guys, this thing is beautiful. It plays the classic Thomas theme, which we all know and love, and it's in our hearts. It has the classic Brit Alcroft type of feel, the beautiful mural that scrolls when the music plays. It's in the shape of a classic TV. It's just amazing. Let me turn it to the picture that I want the most. There you go, Thomas himself. So, you guys get it. It's the vintage, rare, hard to find, Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends music lullaby box. Yes, it is for little kids. You can use it on your um, baby sister, little brother. If you have any and they like Thomas and they want to go to sleep or something, you can use this. That's technically what it's for. It's a lullaby box. Helps kids fall asleep. I'm not going to use it. I Well, I do wind it up and love listening to it and watching the mural. But other than that, there's not really much to do with it. It's mostly there just to look nice and stuff. But yeah, it's rare. It's hard to find. Hopefully you guys can come across one on eBay or whatever site like I did. But yeah, that's going to conclude it for this video. And this... Um, yeah, this video. Next time, it'll be a review on either the Precision Series Lightning McQueen, because I ordered him and he arrived, and I'm going to review him soon, or the Bachman Thomas the Tank Engine, which, yeah, I ordered a Bachman Thomas the Tank Engine, and I'm going to review him. Now, sadly, I don't have any track for him, so I'm not going to be running him. I'm just going to be reviewing him and looking at all his details and stuff. I mostly got that Thomas for show. I don't have any Bachman track. At least where I live. I have some at my grandma's house, but that's a different story. Anyway. Yeah, next review will be of, of Precision Series Lightning McQueen. I'll see you guys th there. And, um, yeah. Peace out, guys.